So hey everybody, Tom's here again. I'm still here with Mr. Robert. This is video number two. This is the cat claw sharpener that he has. So we've already set the blade. You always want to first start off by setting the blade. And what Mr. Robert likes to do is he puts a piece of white or a, a stroke of white out on there and everything. I mean, look at that face though. Let's see if I can just focus this. That is essentially a brand new sawmill blade. And let me get a close up view here. So you can see, he's got that stone ground pretty much dead on. Now this blade is a blade that he had once sharpened with his old setup uh, probably a year ago. This is actually one of the blades off my wood miser sawmill. Uh, so my buddy Tony who bought that, uh, this is going to be a blade for him. So again, you see that cam gear working. You got this one little rod here, which advances the blade, and you've got this silver um, part right here, which goes up to the motor. So that's what raises and lowers the motor, all running off that giant cam right there. The cam is variable speed control, which is really nice, and then your grind motor is a, a separate switch. So there's some similarities between all sharpeners. Uh, they do the same thing. You've got a cam gear to kind of match the uh, the tooth, and you have some type of pusher arm. And on that arm, you typically have a, uh, uh, a motor with a grind wheel that goes up and down. But again, this just shows the uh, cat claw sharpener kind of in in uh, in use here. And again, this is this is the Cook's cat claw sharpener. It's very heavy duty. I mean, a motor this size. Let me just show you some of the specs on that. So that is a half horsepower. Uh, that's that's pretty big and. 7.2 amps at 115 so that's one beefy motor and that drive motor on the side there too again with that being variable speed control he can slow down speed up right now we're running about what's half power on there so again if you got a business and you want to sharpen blades this is a pretty good setup to have so thanks again and we'll see you around